All right, guys. I'm I'm doing the AFI's top 100, and and then uh, you know today's gonna be numbers uh 191. And let's get started, and I'll and I'll I won't give ratings per se. I'll just say whether or not they deserve to be on the top 100 list. Number 100 is Ben Hur. It's about two friends who were friends, but something happened and they weren't. And then you know it's long. It's three hours and four to five minutes, but, you know, it's worth it. I won't say any more because I just want you guys to watch. I, I know you guys know about the chariot scene. That's it. That's all I knew. And I knew some one actor, Charlton Heston, but, you know, yes, it deserved to be on there. In fact, I think it deserved to be a little higher. Number 99 is Toy Story. Yes, it deserved to be on there. I don't need to tell you guys the story. You guys know the story already. So, yes, um, yes, it deserves to be on there. Number 98, um, Yankee Doodle Annie. No, I've... I've I sat through this one barely. It's just not my thing. You know, I love musical, but except, like, this one is too old, you know. I mean, you'll see an old movie I love, but still, you know, like, this one, I just, not for me. So I'm going to have to say it's on the fringe because, you know, it, it did do new stuff. Now, 97, Blade Runner. No. No. I mean, I, what, I'm indifferent to this one. I mean, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I've only really, so, you know, I just... I like some things, and I hate other things, so, yeah, no, I'm sorry. 96 is Do the Right Thing. Oh, yes, 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 this movie should have won Best Picture, you know, it's about race relations in New York and the hot day, and it's all set on one city block. Go and watch it. Go and watch it. Yes. And then, um, 95 is The Last Picture Show. Definitely, definitely. If you look at the movie as one big, giant symbol then you'll love it. You know, it's in black and white, it's very, very slow, but the characters are interesting. So, yes, yes, it definitely deserves to be on there. Let's see, number 94 is Pulp Fiction. Um, yes, only because it's the first, like, non-linear movie I've seen, and, you know, it, it did so much. Yes, you guys have seen Pulp Fiction, so, yes, it definitely deserves to be on there. Number 93, it's a French Connection. No, I'm, I didn't get it. I mean, I liked it. I didn't love it like I thought I was because I love Gene Hackman and Roy Scheider. But, you know, like, it it dragged a little bit in parts, and normally I love slow movies, but not like this. You know, it, I mean, the, sh the scenery was nice, and the acting was good, but I'm not to say no. 92 Goodfellas, of course Goodfellas deserve to be on there. Of course it does, you know. It's, it's my third favorite mob movie of all time. I w third favorite mob movie, you know, but... Um, you know, you should, it's about Henry Hill, you know, who gets into the, involved in these mafiosos, and then it's just about the rise and fall, you know, so yes, yes, what it did, yes. 91 is Sophie's Choice, absolutely, Meryl Streep's performance alone deserves it. You know, she, she delivers a perfect Polish accent, and then, you know, yes, yes, you know, it's about this woman who's went through a lot, and then, of course, she has to choose between two men, but that's not a choice. I will not tell you her choice. Okay, so, yes, I'll see you guys in numbers 90 through 82.